Hi everyone, it's Rose Clan, and yes, I have got you a Gaussian Fire deck with Monkey Dewey. Yes, I know, Gaussian Fire, Monkey Dewey, but we are using the Moltres, the Iron Bundle, Fluttermane, Mew. So, literally, Gaussian Fire is the main attacker, but then we've got secondaries as Moltres and Fluttermane and Mew and energy switches. And as you can probably notice, we've got Bravery Charms, Rescue Board. But also, Secret Box. Secret Box really works in this deck. Sole reason is, you're able to go Magna Basin, Rescue Board, Sada, and maybe Earthly Vessel or Energy Switch. And that's it. That's turn one, bump up, well, going second, bum, 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 done. Attack, do 260, do whatever you want to do. It's crazy strong, crazy fast. Watch the gameplay, you'll see me just body, even raging bolts. Watch it. So, take a screenshot, the deck list in the description below. Don't forget to hit all them funny buttons and all them do that you do. And I'll keep doing what I do. So, I'll see you in the next part. See you then. Okay, so, let's see how we get on. And we've got a Squawk, and we've got a Gaussian Fire. Alright, so they want to It is... A Garnival deck. Okay. We have got a lot of single pods that can attack, like Flop Main and Moltres. Uh, let's see how we get on here. So we've got Nest Ball, Nest Ball, Nest Ball. No energy though. They're going first, which is not normally like them to go first. Uh, I decided to go second. They cast the coin. So I decided to go second, or they decided to go second. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, Artisan, that can help me get a Moltres out. And be able to turn one attack. Okay, there's a Flutter Main. They're going to retreat. All right, you want to play like that. That's fine. That is fine. Volts. They get all four volts. What? That's just maddening. All right, so. <laughs> you think you got me. You think you got me. You didn't get me. I can outsmart you. Let's get in this ball. We're going to get a Moltres down. We're going to get a Greninja uh, down. Then we're going to get some energies down. Let's draw a little bit. Okay. So we have got a jet. Okay, okay. Okay, we've got jets. We've got an energy switch. Okay, so what could we do here? Uh, uh, that then. That uh, and then we're going to just walk in seas, Magda Basin, which is really good, and a flutter main. Uh, let's do a tricky shoes. Uh, uh, no, I want something else. That's good. Well, I've got to take that now, and I. Magic the basin onto this. Okay. Uh, what could we do here? We've got two energies, haven't we? We could. We've only got one, haven't we? Now I can take a knockout here, retreat, but I want the energy in the discard pile, to be honest. So I'm not going to put the board on. 
I'm gonna put that up. I'm gonna put the board on the flutter main. Okay. Uh, what do we want to knock out? We can knock out. I think the flutter main is probably a problem. So we're gonna get rid of that first. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we get rid of that, which is really, really good. No more flutter main. Okay, they get a vault, then we can knock out one of these vaults. Okay, so not too bad. Fight the two bosses though. And they've conceded. This vault, they don't want to play against this because we can consistently attack with Moltres while they're setting up. They'll just go behind so quickly, it won't be funny. So, we'll go to another match and I'll see you there. Right, so, secret box, gouging fire. I'm going to put you down. Gonna put, uh, do I want you down? I will see. I might use the flutter main. Oh, we are going second. We have to we have to oko these first turn. So I'm gonna have to nest ball into. Uh, or okay, <laughs> I just figured out a way. It's fine. Time the unit. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna earthly vessel. Uh, the flop main. Get some energies. Get rid of all the energies and the E switch. Use the nest ball to get a squawk. Then use secret box. Yeah, maybe. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. Let me see. Let me see how my brain works. And what I draw next. Beach court. Ah, oh, that's it's nice. Nice for you. You get an extra draw there. I am gonna knock that out. But I'd like to knock out you. But we'll see. Why are you juicing up that? Hmm, interesting. Let's do tricky shoes. Oh no, I want that. Don't I? I do want them. I've got no energies there. So we can go you. Energy, energy. We've prized some energy. Okay, we have prized some energy. So I can go you, you, you. Energy switch. And go for uh, that. That, that. Um, I would like another every vessel. Yeah. Okay. So, magnet basin, nest ball. We do squawk here. Yeah, but the score could be attacked, couldn't it? No, I'm not going to do squawk. I'm going to go for double gouging fire. One, two, draw three. Yay! Okay. Uh, what could we also go for here? Uh, let's see. So if we go. Earthly Festival again, get two energies. I'm going to have to get rid of a dark energy. Get two more. I really don't want to get rid of the power pad though. Uh, we can manually. Either way, I think they're going to be able to knock out. What is it, 220? 30 more, 250. Bravery Charm would help. So I'm going to keep the Bravery Charm. Uh, I need to get rid of an energy. So I'm going to have to get rid of the Power Pad. And an energy. And get... Monkey... Doy, maybe? 
still a target though, isn't it? Another gouging fire, maybe. And then we can go Magna Basin onto you. You. Draw two. I've got the squawk anyway. But I've got rid of the power pad, so I'm not going to put the squawk down. So I'm just going to go attack first turn, knock out. Okay. Right. They can do 250. Okay. Um, I did provide some energy, but I've got some back. Uh, I had to get rid of the power pad though. I didn't want to. I mean, I could have got rid of the bravery charm, but <clears throat> maybe I should have got rid of the bravery charm. Not too sure. NG switch cart, really? Okay, fleet footed. If I can draw into. Okay, so there goes the Asada's boss and all that, and energy, which is a bit annoying. Jet energy is not bad. Right. You got another switch. Hmm. So what I can do is energy switch from this to this. Jet. That up, not that out, and take another prize. He's going to retreat into that. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to do what I plan to do. And then go from there. So we're going to go energy switch to this. Jet this up. All right. Uh, ultra ball this away. Get. Uh, nothing. Going to get nothing. Off that. I saw that. It's not bad actually. I've got one dark energy. It's not really good, is it? Uh, what do we want to knock out? Uh, I honestly want to knock out this. Because it's a big threat. So I'm going to knock that out. And if they knock out my gouge and fire, that puts energies back in. I can use a Sada. Okay? Uh, that's the biggest threat. So I didn't even need to do a Sada this turn. And they are so far behind. Um... So let's see. We've got an energy switch here. But I could always mainly retreat. Could mainly retreat. Maybe a jet and a fire. Move that up. Or do an energy switch. Then move that up. So I was trying not to put out a single prize up there where Iron Hands could knock out. Now, I've lost the boss, but I've got another boss. Oh, I keep fighting. Do you know what? When I was testing this, all I keep drawing was bosses. Having three bosses is really good, but it's really bad at the same time. And as you can see, these matches aren't going to be long. They're like, oh, okay, you've won. That's it. Bye-bye. It's okay. We'll go to another match, and I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm going to go second. We like to go second. We always try to go second. Uh, if you can't, we, we just set up and just put something like a single prize up in the active. Um, reason is because we like to just go attack, 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 and win. Pretty much it. That's pretty much the goal of Gouging Fire Secret Box is attack, attack, and attack. It's more fun that way. It's faster as well. Okay. Uh, two money again. Really? 
All right, so I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I'm going second. I've got a rescue board. Uh, we'll see if we need the iron bundle. We might not need to. It's a raging bolt. So we need to knock out Pokemon quick. Greninja. They're going to get set up. Um, we need to take two prizes straight away. Fast as physically possible. Till dance. That. Draw one. Till dance. Oh, no. Another nest ball. Major bolt. Makes sense. Okay. Right, okay. Energy, 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 energy. So, need you. 1%. I don't want a bundle, do we? You can go Magna Basin, you. Uh, all of that. If I attach for turn, get rid of that. But I could get a jet. But I don't need a jet. I'm going to attach the fire. The dark. Then do a squawk. We need an Asada. So let's thin out a little bit more. I could get a Mew. Or Greninja. Greninja wouldn't be too bad to draw some extra cards. We yeah, have got Earthly Vessel. Yeah. Okay. And we'll do a tricky shoes. Oh, yes, please. Okay. So we've got an Asada there. That's really, 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 really good. Let's do an Earthly Vessel. Get rid of this. And we'll get two more energies. Then we can go Greninja. There's another side that's really, really, really good. Uh, we've got Magna Basin and we've got another side out. So I would like to go another Gouging Fire here. Uh, and then go a Sada. One, two. Draw some more. Ex excellent. Uh, we can go Magna Basin. Because they're going to knock it out either way. And then we can just go Retreat. Uh, and do Fire Blitz. Bomb. So that's one less Ogre Pine in the deck for them. We've took the lead here. Yes, that's what I wanted. So even if they knock out my Gouging Fire, we can go... Magna Basin, onto Gouging Fire, Jet Up, Bomb, Attack again. And we don't even need the Asada, so we can choose what we want to knock out. Um, I might save the Asada for when I need it. Uh, we'll see. Oh, Poke Stuff. Okay. Conceal cards, Bomb, Bomb, Bomb. So it's literally who is faster, me or them? They can one-shot everything. We can one-shot almost everything. But we have a stadium that helps and energy switches and stuff like that that allows us to not be completely reliant on Asada. We're not 100% reliant on it. We can still do it, but it's still not. I mean, when that new card... I don't know if it comes out in Shrouded Fable. Fates. Is it Fable? Fable? Um, I can't remember. There is a Dark Energy Acceleration thing. Uh, supporter card. But there is a new one, I think, from the, the new set after that. Where there is... I think there's two supporter cards that allow you to grab energies. Two energies. Attach one and put one on your hand. And it's got to be two different types of energy, which is fine for Gouging Fire. Uh, so they're just knocked out that. It's like, okay. 
that's fine. We're going to promote the Squawk. Okay, we've got another Gouge and Fire here, which is really good. We've got a Tricky Shoes, which I'm going to use. Uh, yes, please. Uh, do we... We can... Assault, we're going to do a poker start before we throw it away. All right, so we just lost another Magda Basin. We don't really need it. I mean, I might save this Magda Basin in case we use another poker start. Uh, so... Let's go energy. That. Another gouging fire, which is really, really good. Uh, let's draw a little bit more. Uh, well, yeah, we'll take that, actually, because we can put some more stuff around. Uh, I'm going to put that down. Uh, how many energies we got? One there, two there, one here. Uh, we'll get rid of the Ultra Ball, get some more energies. Okay. We'll put some more in the discard pile ready. Energy switch, which is really cool. Uh, I don't want to do Magna Basin yet, so I kind of just want to just knock him out. So I can just go jet and just knock out. I want to keep my whole hand. I don't want to waste resources because it is a resource game with Raging Bolt. Okay, they have constantly attackers. Um, I mean, I can always do a combo where I can move, say, thirty damage with the Monkey Dore onto this. Put a fire energy from the Magnum Basin onto this. This will do 90 times 2, which is 180, which is exactly the right number to knock out an Ogre Pond. Because don't forget, we hit Ogre Pond for weakness. So we can, with just the Moltres and a Monkey Dory, knock out an Ogre Pond for weakness, which is really, really good. It's not too bad. Um, so we can just go knock out, knock out, knock out. We're ahead of the prizes, which is really good. Um, if they knock this out, we just go Squawk, Asada. We don't even... Do we even need Asada? Uh, no. Wait. Do we? Do... I think we do. No, I can go Magda Basin. Attach manually. And that still works. So I've got flows away. You can see how consistent this deck is. You get going, that's it. But it's when you don't top draw anything, you don't get any asanas, don't get anything else. That's when it gets a bit like, oh, really? But that happens with a lot of decks. I mean, not so much maybe with Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt can send out energies with itself with just energy in your hand which is fine but we do have Greninja and we have Squawk uh, Squawk is just like you put an emergency board on that a skateboard where it's called is it emergency board? am I saying it wrong? rescue board um, rescue board Come on, do you know what it was when they translated it when it was first coming out it was emergency board and then they changed it to rescue board and I just can't get out of the habit of saying it. Um, so, we'll see. We've got loads of energies. They only need four to knock out a Raging Bolt. Even with a Brave Charm, it's still four energies. But we could just return knockout now. So, I mean, if I was in his shoes, I probably would have conceded. Because of if I couldn't get rid of this hand... And I own them, then oh, is it is it broke? Has the game broken? Come on. There you go. You have to just play with it a little bit. Just tickle it a little bit. All right, so we just get a squawk. Um Okay, so we can go Magna Basin, which we can go dark. Yeah, I'm going to do this without using a Sada, just to show you 
how strong this is. All right? I'm going to show you how it is. I right? don't even need to use Asada or Jet Energy. I can just go like this, retreat, and knock out. And you look how many options I've got here. Didn't even have to try it. And I could have just done energy switch onto Monkey Dory. Uh, and then done an Asada. And I still would have the energy. Yeah. That's how good this deck is really is. And these matches aren't going to be long as well. So we'll go to the next part. And I'll see you then. Okay. So. Fourth match in a row. And let's see. Um, that's not a bad, bad hand at all, actually. We're going second as well. So, what can we do with this? So, it's depending on what we top draw. And then what we use from the Trekkie Shoes. And then we'll decide what we're going to do with the Nest Ball. I think. Or we do... Should we do Nest Ball first? Or should we do Trekkie Shoes first? I think maybe do Trekkie Shoes first. And then maybe a Poke Stop. Just another Raging Bolt. It's not the same person, is it? Am I facing the same person again? No. No, it's not. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I thought I was playing the same person again. It's another Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt is everywhere. I'm actually only missing two Oak Ponds now. I managed to get my hands on two Oak Ponds yesterday at my locals. Um, oh, no. It's a pod. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, two Oak Pond Teal Masks. Uh, and what else did I get my hands on? I got my hands on another Iron Leaves. Now, you know I've done a Turbo Iron Leaves set, which was disgusting. But I figured out a way to make it even more with an infinite energy attack loop. Now, you'll see, if you last it to the end, really, really good, you get to find out all this little secret information of future videos I'm gonna be doing. And I can't believe, it just came to me. And funny if it came to me while I was in the chat. Uh, you know, funny things when you just, your mind's just drifting and you're just relaxing. And it just came to me and I was thinking about iron leaves dot combinations and i was like oh wait a minute so you don't want to bench your iron leaves until you've got the energies on the board with oak ponds it's really easy and then you put say you put three energies one on each oak pond and then you've got two iron crowns on there you got bench space for your iron leaves you put your iron leaves down you put a um, bravery charm on it, and then it moves up. Well, it moves up to the active, moves the energy onto it. Yeah, and then say your poke, your opponent can't one shot your iron leaves. But the thing is, your iron leaves can't attack again, right? Because you can only do it once every other turn. Attack. I was like, how do you get around that? And once if you damage it, then they can take an attack next turn and knock it out. Why don't we use Penny? Get the energies back, the Bravery Charm, and the Iron Leaves. And then do the Oak Ponds again. And then slap down the Iron Leaves. Bomb attack, Bravery Charm. Do it again. And it's completely, it's broken. Okay, so let's do a... Ooh. No, just in case I'm going to do a Squawk. See what I get there. Earthly Vessel, which is really, really good. So we can get rid of that and get some more... Okay. Uh, let's do this. Oh, oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I definitely shouldn't have done that. Bugger. Oh, well, that ruined that idea, didn't it? Uh, it's going to have to be a Greninja now. Get rid of one of these. Iona. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this. Uh, uh, okay, we're gonna fill out the deck a little bit first. 
Uh, I don't want to put any energies on. So I'm going to do an Iona. How's your fire? Uh, could get rid of these two. Get Moltres down. Force them to switch that out so I can kill something or get something really close. All right. Uh, I kind of want to keep this energy in my hand, so I'm going to do a Magda Basin onto you. Create into you. Do this. Monkey doorway. I'm not going to bench the monkey doorway. Oh, I can't believe I got rid of that squat though. It's well annoying, but it's fine. Okay. Right, okay. So I should have really attached to something there's another gouging fire okay right now they can attack with the oak ponds this turn retreat and attack um but they're all about getting loads of energy and then doing uh tea spill the tea yeah spill the tea and it'll do uh 210 damage if it discards three Pokemon from your Poke from your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, so they can do spilled of tea. Uh, let's see how we get on here. Oh that I should have done Nest Ball first. Because then if I did Nest Ball It might not have been an insider from the Pokestop. And that's really annoying. You know when you do something silly, and they did a silly, and it was a silly, or they use in secret box. Nice. It's a lot more powerful than people give credit. I could have got my hands on one yesterday, but I was just like, I've already spent some money already, and I was like, mm, I don't really want to trade anymore at the minute, unless people have got the oak ponds, but. It is what it is. It is what it is. So let us know how you're getting on your locals because the season started, uh, the new season. They haven't announced when the tickets for regionals and internationals are going to be on RK9 yet. I'm pretty sure it's probably just after the Worlds, which is going to be really, really tight because tournaments start in September. Okay. Right at the start of September or near the middle of September and then the end of September. Um, which doesn't give a lot of people a lot of time. Pokey stop, really? Okay. Uh, are they actually going to attack this turn? They could do now. If we don't attack this turn. What should I do? I'm, I mean, I'm going to put down the Gouging Fire. I'll probably put down the Monkey Daughtery. Earthly Vessel. So they can take a prize here, or do they want Gouging Fire and take two prizes? I'm not too sure what they're going to be planning to do here. Do they want to do spill the tea? Are they looking for something particular? I'm not too sure. Plus, it's taken quite a while. I wonder if he's playing on his mobile and then looked at something else while he's doing it. EFK. So when you're on your mobile and you're playing this, um, sometimes you can actually disconnect you from the match because you're away from it for like 10 seconds. Um, it's a bit weird, but it is what it is. That's another tail mask. You got another tail mask in, yeah? 
You got another till dance. Okay. Really? Okay. Are they trying to mill out all the grass? So they can use the EX instead of that one. The Sinister EX where it does more damage. But here it comes. Oh, they're going to go for big boy. Nine energies, it does. Two counters for each, which is 200 and... Wait, if it's nine... Don't think that's enough to knock me out, though. You'd have to get rid of more energy. I think it's ten. Is it ten? For each energy, it does ten. Oh, no, they're going for the Mew. Oh, that's really n mean. That's mean. Okay. Okay. You. Um, I'm not going to go for the monkey door here. Okay, so when you get this down... And then I'm going to draw. He's getting the monkey door, you know. All right, I'll pull it down. He definitely wants to come out and play. Yes. Or maybe I should have said no to that. I'm not too sure. Poke stop. Uh... What can I do here? I should have jetted up this, I think. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do this. He's used up all that. And if he doesn't knock this out... Hmm. I didn't think... I forgot he'd go for the Mew there. And I've lost two Magda Basins. Should have really kept that jet. It's fine. Should have just jetted this up. Yeah, if I just jetted that up. But then I would have nothing left. Not too sure. Right. He's going to retreat that. I've just lost the boss as well, haven't I? Okay. Uh, no, that way. Uh, I've lost two bosses. I've still got one in the deck. I have got an Asada somewhere. I've got three more Asadas. Stuff like that. I have lost some draw power, though. Spill the tea. And that goes on to any Pokemon or to the active. I think it's going to go onto a Gaussian Fire. I think they're going to knock out. Oh no, it's straight onto the active. All right. Okay. That's really, really, really annoying. Okay, okay. Uh... I'm going to have to. I don't want to. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. I knew it. I bloody knew it.
Okay. Let that out. Okay. Oh. Oh. I am st I am seriously down stuff. I've got no bosses now. Uh, I need to get a pal pad in. I've got one more Magda Basin down left, maybe. Um, but I have got the energies in the discard pole, so that's not too bad. So I'm gonna go Asada onto you, Asada onto you if they don't knock it out. Maybe do energy switch to move it, damage off this. I don't really need to though. To be perfectly honest with you. Although, I could knock that out. If they don't evolve this, I could knock it out with Monkey Dory. That's an extra prize then, isn't it? Eight energies. They could knock out this with this. Okay. Well, have they got any energies in hand? Interesting. I wonder how many energies they're actually using. They've got four in the deck. Oh, that's a risk, isn't it? Oh, they go for the full whack. Because that's 11. That's 220. Two hundred and twenty. It's just shy of knocking out this gouging fire, but he can knock out this gouging fire here. How hard? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's too far. Oh, you managed to get rid of some extras. Right, that's a bit annoying. Right, so that was my healthy one. Okay. Right. Four energies in the dark. Okay. Uh, we can go fire and that. Draw three. Engine switch to that. To this then I can go tricky shoes yes because I want to keep some in the deck um, we can move 30 onto this take a prize okay uh, we could secret box. We don't need to at the minute. Don't really want to secret box. So, um, yeah, I know. Okay, so let's get this done. That's done. Okay, and we've got all they need is the boss, though, don't they? And the energies. They've put in, what was it, 12 energies into the deck. So most of that is completely energy. So all they're going to keep doing is drawing into energy. But then they need a boss. Or prime, or counter catcher. They haven't used a single boss. They've got to have a boss in the hands. Interested. Sorry. Right, that was a nest ball. Are they burning their hands? They've still got one till mass left. There's more energy. 
Okay. So. They'd have to boss up. There's a tail mask. Nest ball, another tail mask. Cool, but it's all energy. They must be looking for a boss. That or counter capture. Because they've used secret box, haven't they? Yeah. And they've used all of them Pokemon. They've got one energy there. Energy there. Boss. I knew they had the boss, but I'm going to leave this in because this is a really good match. Uh, I almost had it. Uh, it's a shame they took out the healthy one and not that one. But it is what it is. But you saw what we could have done there. Um, oh, well. Right, so um, I will see you in the next part. See you then. So, as you can see, it, it just wipes the floor with everything. Even Raging Bolt, it can do it. Uh, doing Being able to do 260, it's brilliant. But also being able to do either add an extra 20 or 30 with Monkey Dory, it comes up. The Moltres is awesome. Early game, just one energy, Magna Basin, bomb. That's it. Done. Uh, three bosses, always we always draw into bosses, which is really good. Uh, secret box, being able to go Bravery Charm or Rescue Board, so you go res Rescue Board, Magna Basin, uh, maybe an Energy Switch, and a Sada. Yeah, this is the next level. So, don't forget to all them funny buttons if you've made all the way to the end of this. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. See you then.